Do you have elevated prolactin levels? Let's talk about some ways to reduce that. Welcome back to TRT Veteran. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm not a doctor. This is just my experience and what I've learned through my own research. Elevated prolactin is something that women have after giving birth to produce milk. However, men can also have elevated prolactin as well. You're probably already aware if you have high prolactin because you should be seeing it in your blood work. However, if you're not having it consistently checked, you need to make sure that's added onto your lab work. Now, let's discuss some symptoms of an elevated prolactin level. Low libido. According to this study, it can decrease sexual desire. The most common issue that men encounter with high prolactin is erectile dysfunction. Here's one study that shows that. Now, what are some causes of elevated prolactin? Having sex within a few days of your lab work will result in your prolactin being high. If your prolactin is constantly high, you almost always have that feeling of never needing to have sex, which is that refractory period. If your prolactin level is too high, make sure you get it checked out by a doctor. Your doctor may want to do an MRI to check for a pituitary tumor. Pituitary tumors are well known to cause high prolactin. Hypothyroidism can cause prolactin. Here's a study that shows hypothyroidism can cause elevated prolactin. Or even some medications could be causing high prolactin. Many medications like antidepressants and antipsychotics can cause high prolactin. Personally, my high prolactin was caused by my testosterone treatment and using DECA. Now, what are some ways you can treat high prolactin. We're going to break this up into the natural ways and the prescription ways. Now, here are a couple studies that show that ashwagandha, ashwagandha, how do you say it? Ash, ashwagandha, ashwagandha. There, take that. Now, here's a couple studies that show the use of ashwagandha and vitamin E to help lower prolactin levels. Boom! There's another supplement called L-DOPA that is a precursor to dopamine that has studies that link it to help lower prolactin levels. Now the supplement I used is known as P5P. It is a bioavailable form of vitamin B6. Studies show that P5P helps lower prolactin. When I was taking P5P, I was taking 300 milligrams a day and it did lower my prolactin a little bit. However, I was still at the high end of normal. So that is when my doctor started talking to me about cabergoline. So if you don't wanna take those handful and handfuls of vitamins every single day, you could go that cabergoline route. Cabergoline is a prescription medication used to lower prolactin. Cabergoline is a dopamine agonist. It elevates your dopamine and reduces prolactin by telling your brain to stop releasing prolactin. It also reduces the refractory period with sex. So my doctor started me out on 0.5 milligrams twice a week. So I was taking one milligram of cabergoline a week. When I first started, I was having some pretty severe nausea and I even threw up a couple of times. However, a couple weeks after taking it, my body got used to it and I wasn't having those symptoms anymore. I was on that dose for a couple months until my next lab work. I loved the effects of being on cabergoline that my doctor allowed me to stay on it at a much lower dose. So some of the positive effects that I experienced was things like improved libido. My erectile function was significantly increased. My overall sexual satisfaction was amazing. Cabergoline is even known to decrease the sexual refractory period, which means you can go multiple rounds. Ding ding. <laughs> Scientists have studied cabergoline up to a cumulative dose of 308 milligrams. According to these studies, none of the patients had abnormalities such as 
thickening, calcification, or restricted mobility of any cardiac valves. To put that in perspective, I take 0.25 milligrams a week. Adding that to the higher dose I started out on, it took me 23 years to reach that cumulative dose. I don't expect to stay on it that long. However, once I do stop, I'll still continue to check my labs. There's a lot of warnings that come with cabergoline. I find it hilarious that it says, talk to your doctor if you experience an increase in sex drive. That's kind of the point of this medication. It helps lower your prolactin so you can have a higher sex drive and have better performance. We've been seeing a lot of people in Facebook groups talking about having erectile dysfunction. And one of the most common questions is, what is your prolactin level? At least half the people or more don't know what their prolactin level was, and it's not even getting tested by their doctors. If you're not having your prolactin checked, you need to make sure that test is added on to your next labs. If you need a doctor that's well versed in these issues and can get you back on the right track, make sure you check out Matrix Hormones. That's who my wife and I go through. Use that discount code TRTVETERAN to help save you money on your treatment. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and then jump on over to Facebook and join our TRT Veteran Facebook page. I'll see you guys in the next video.